The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Baruch. Take courage, my people, memorial of Israel. You were sold to the nations, but not for extermination. You provoked God, and so were delivered to your enemies, since you had angered your Creator by offering sacrifices to demons and not to God. You had forgotten the eternal God who reared you. You had also grieved Jerusalem who nursed you. For when she saw God's anger falling on you, she said, Listen, you neighbors of Zion. God has sent me great sorrow. I've seen my sons and daughters taken into captivity, which the Eternal brought down on them. I had reared them joyfully, in tears and sorrow. I watched them go away. Do not any of you exalt over me a widow, deserted by so many. I am bereaved because of the sins of my children, who turned away from the law of God. Take courage, my children. Call on God. He who brought this on you will remember you. As by your will you first strayed from God, so now turn back and search for Him ten times harder. For as He has been bringing down those disasters on you, so will He rescue you and give you eternal joy. And our response is taken from Psalm 69. For God listens to the poor. He has never scorned His captive people. Let heaven and earth and seas and all that stirs in them acclaim Him. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. And people will live there on their own land. The descendants of His servants will inherit it. And those who love His name will dwell there. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The 72 came back rejoicing. Lord, they said, even the devils submit to us when we use your name. He said to them, I watched Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Look, I've given you power to tread down serpents and scorpions and the whole strength of the enemy. Nothing shall ever hurt you. Yet do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you. Rejoice instead that your names are written in heaven. Just at this time, filled with joy by the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to little children. Yes, Father, for that is what it has pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Then turning to His disciples, He spoke to them by themselves. Blessed are the eyes that see what you see, for I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see and never saw it, to hear what you hear, and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord.